guys, what's up? Welcome back to DIY Motorsport. I am Mike, and today we're going to keep going on with the sleeper build. Uh, we got a bunch of different video clips from a bunch of different days uh, of working, finally coming together. Um, also, for the next month or so, I still am um, going to be pretty spotty with my videos. Um, but as soon as all the smoke clears, I promise we're going to get back to a video a week. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, jump into the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, please hit that like button, and leave your comments below. Thanks guys. Alright guys, so the plan is that we're going to want to get everything kind of bolted into place uh, with this whole piece to make sure that it's very stable. And then once it's stable and it's right where we want it to be and it's where it's going to live, then we're going to go ahead and start measuring out and cutting the tabs to actually bolt into the top of the motor. Um, and then also we'll do, like we talked about last time, that piece kind of coming down from here and uh, tying this stuff together. So um, let's go ahead and get our holes drilled, uh, get some bolts in and get it securely mounted and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so we got this upper piece mounted, it's bolted into place. We're going to end up adding a couple bolts here um, on each side and then I'd like to do uh, one here as well, kind of going sideways just to stiffen everything up. But as of right now it's very stiff and it's right where we want it to be. So the next step is we need to basically just measure out and design um, some tabs coming off to bolt this side. Uh, same thing with this side and then like we talked about on that last video uh, the flat bar kind of coming down right here that ties into that lower mount on the other side so let's go ahead and start measuring up Okay guys, so we got all the tabs cut out for the, the motor mounts. Um, they still have a lot of cleaning up to do, but we're going to get them tacked into place and then when we pull it off we'll clean everything up. Um, I got the bar kind of bent, uh, I just bent it on the vise and in place where I want it. Um, we just need to drill the holes here and get it mounted and then once it's mounted we're going to go ahead and um, design and cut a tab that will tie into this motor mount right here that's coming from the back and we'll weld it onto this. This will be removable um, and it should tie everything together very, very nicely. So let's go ahead and get these holes drilled and then we'll get this tab right here kind of designed and cut out and uh, then we'll pull out the welder and uh, start tacking everything into place.
guys, so we got all the tabs cut out. Um, everything's kind of in place, so it's uh, time to pull out the welder and get everything tacked up. We've got the two tabs here and here. Um, we've got our brace coming down here with the tab that ties into that motor mount here. And then we've got our tabs over here on this side that tie into the top. Um, everything's pretty rough cut. Uh, we'll get everything tacked into place. And uh, once we know everything works out really well, then and the thing comes in and out, then we'll, we'll final weld it and clean up all the tabs around the edges and stuff like that. So let's get the welder out and get going. Okay guys, so we got some parts in, um, did get a fuel pump, uh, like I said we got the fuel cell all done, uh, we do need to bend the uh, breather line um, and then modify the chassis to get it to fit. Uh, we are going to attempt to make our disc brake out of that, um, got a sprocket, um, I know that I've got the hubs on there but this one will just go right on to the axle and then that'll work out nicely. Um, brakes, there's the caliper. Uh, also I got a whole bunch of stuff in for the frozen Jeep. Um, we got all the all the heim joints, um, all the weld in inserts, nuts and everything for that. Um, we also got throttle cable for the sleeper build, uh, some, just some pieces of metal uh, that we're going to mess with and try to maybe make some pedals out of. And then over here we got all the DOM for the suspension on the frozen buggy. And then this is going to be our brake line for the sleeper. So we will hard pipe. Uh, from the front uh, to the back and then we'll bend it up and have it just kind of follow along the chassis and should look good and hopefully it'll turn out nicely. So uh, let's go ahead and get started.
Okay guys, so we got the caliper all mounted. You can see that here's the mount comes up and it bolts in here. So this will all be removable so that we can slide all this stuff off. Um, this disc brake worked pretty good for a mock-up, but I am going to burn out one that's about a half an inch smaller. Um, we're going to go 3 16 instead of quarter inch. And then where the bolts go through, uh, we're going to have to countersink that and put countersunk bolts in just because it kind of interferes with the caliper up here. Can't really see it, but either way, it got us our position. Um, everything's good there. This is in. Uh, these aren't tight, but um, it's in there nice and solid. And then next, we are going to go through and start bending up our brake line. Um, so we've got stainless steel hard line quarter inch right here and we're going to bend we're going to kind of come from down here come up and around along the top rail here and then we'll end back here at our caliper and then the mounts that we have are just these little mounts and then we will also put the throttle cable in with it so we'll get everything bent up these will go on here we'll run the throttle cable and then we'll drill and tap into here, quarter 20, and uh, bolt everything down. So let's uh, go ahead and start bending this up. Okay guys, so we got the basic shape all bent up. A um, little short on clamps, we'll probably have to get a couple more clamps, but uh, this will do for now. Uh, we've got everything clamped into place where we want it. Um, the hard line was a little too long, and I really didn't like the coming and wrapping around here, so cut it off here. Um, I'll just have to take it to work and flare this. Um, and put a fitting on the end as well and then we'll get soft lines to go from here to the caliper and also from here to the master cylinder so now that we've got everything where we want it uh, we'll go ahead and get our holes drilled and get them tapped and then that way we can sink bolts in there and have it all secure
Okay guys, just a quick recap. Um, we got the rear frame for the motor all built. Um, all the tabs are in, the motor is in there nice and solid. Uh, still gotta go through and clean up the tabs and final weld it. Um, we'll, we'll get that done, but everything's in and holds strong. Uh, we did get the rear portion of the brakes done. We got the new uh, rotor in, uh, 3 16 instead of quarter inch. Um, it is also a half inch smaller and then countersunk all the holes uh, for the mounting screws so that it uh, spins nice and free without any interference. Uh, got the new tank in. Um, the only difference is, is it's uh, about an inch shallower and then we moved uh, the fill and the vent to the front instead of the back uh, but it's still got the same sump underneath. Um, this piece that I built, uh, you guys just saw that was the rod for the brake. So that's going to go into the master cylinder and come up to the brake pedal right here when we figure out how we're going to do that. And uh, that will finish up the braking system and then we need to do a hose from here to here or I might hard line it. Haven't quite decided yet. Uh, we also got the box in for all the electrical. Um, this will mostly be for the stuff that we add on, lights and things like that. And then uh, we might be able to fit a few things from the original electrical system in there. But uh, it's getting close. Um, also wanted to talk to you guys about the frozen rock buggy build. Um, I've kind of been going back and forth on a few ideas. Uh, I was thinking that instead of doing like a four wheel, four wheel drive deal that uh, we could do kind of like a mini snow cat. Um, just put, you know, one long track on each side, kind of like a, uh, a tank. Uh, the motor should have plenty of power to turn it and stuff like that. I think uh, a snow cat would fit the frozen, the frozen build theme pretty well. So um, tell me what you guys think on that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think about the sleeper build and then also what you guys think about uh, doing the snow cats on the frozen Jeep. Until next time, have a good one.